Welcome to the tutorial of the safety functions. In today's video we are going to take a closer look at the configuration of the safety functions safely limited speed, safe speed monitor and safe direction in the FlexiSoft designer. Safely limited speed and safe speed monitor are used to monitor speeds and drives. Safe direction makes sure that the drive can only move in a permissible direction of movement. In the hardware configuration I have already placed the FlexiSoft system with a CPU3, an XTIO module and the motion control module Mach 1 with a DFS safety encoder. So let's switch to the Mach 1 logic editor. The safety functions, safely limited speed, safe speed monitor and safe direction are realized in the function block speed monitor. First of all we focus on the relevant in and outputs. The input motion in expects a relative position which comes from an encoder. The inputs enable forward and enable backward enables the relevant direction of movement. Speed enable ID activates the permitted speed limit. The output monitor status indicates the combined status of the various monitoring functions. If an error was detected, the signal is going low. Direction status indicates the direction of movement. The output standstill is going high if the condition of standstill is achieved. Speed status ID indicates the speed range to which the current speed at the input motion in corresponds. And the output maximum speed enabled indicates whether the highest used speed range is activated. Before we go on with the configuration menu, we have to deal with the general explanation of the safety functions safely limited speed and safe speed monitor. Safely limited speed monitors that the drive does not exceed a defined speed limit. In this graphic, you can see the movement function as well as a valid and invalid range. If the drive now is moving in the forbidden area, because he exceeds the defined speed limit, then a safe signal at the output monitoring status is generated. This signal can be sent to a safety controller to react to this situation accordingly. The function safe speed monitor is also used for the safe monitoring of speeds. Like in the graphic before, you can see the movement of the drive, the valid and invalid range. If the drive now is moving under the defined speed limit in the green area, then a valid bit of 1 is generated at the output monitoring status. This signal can be captured in a safety controller to react to this situation accordingly. For example, a door can be unlocked so that the machine operator gets access to the machine. By double clicking on the function block the configuration menu opens. In the first tab that appears you have to apply the values for access type and units which you may have defined in a previous function block. The tab speed ranges is relevant for the functions safely limited speed and safe speed monitor. With the help of the following graphic I will explain the settings of this tab. There, you can see the movement function of the drive again. On the horizontal, there are the defined speed ranges. In this field, you can define the maximum permissible speed. If you want to define speed ranges, you have to enter it here. By clicking the plus button, the configuration is saved. In this way, up to 10 speed ranges can be configured. As you can see in the graphic, there are four different speed ranges. Speed range 1 always corresponds to the standstill speed, which you can define in the tab standstill monitoring. Depending on the speed range in which the drive is moving, the associated status ID is produced at the output speed status ID. If the drive now is moving in speed range 1, as you can see there, then the ID 1 is produced. If the drive is moving in speed range 2, then the ID 2 is generated. Last but not least, we are going to take a look at the safety function Safe Direction. Safe Direction ensures that the drive can only move in the permitted direction. This graphic shows you the permitted as well as the forbidden direction. When the drive has a positive speed, then it moves forwards. Therefore, a negative speed indicates a backward movement. Just imagine the following situation. An AGV slowly moves toward an obstacle and realizes that the obstacle is not moving. Before the collision occurs, 
the AGV reduces speed and comes to a standstill. To prevent the collision, the forward movement is now blocked. This means the AGV can only move backwards to move away from the obstacle. To realize the safety function, you can switch to the tab Optional Inputs. By clicking the fields Enable Forward and Enable Backward, the inputs are activated. The output direction status shows the current direction. There, you can also activate the optional input Speed Enable ID. With this input, it is possible to select and activate speed limits. When the input Speed Enable ID is 2, then the speed ranges above speed limit 2 are locked. When the input speed enable ID is 3, then it is not allowed to move above speed limit 3. And if the input speed enable ID is 4, then the ranges above speed limit 4 are locked. That's it for the tutorial of the safety functions Safely Limited Speed, Safe Speed Monitor and Safe Direction. Now you've got to know the functionalities and how to configure these safety functions in the Flexi Soft Designer.